All right, everybody. It is Memorial Day weekend, and we finally got out of, broke out of our houses. We are down here at Charles C. Dean Wilderness again, to um, down by the Pine Grove, and we're all set up. Me and John, say hi, John. Hey, folks. With his, he's got his quarantine beard going on. <laughs> it's awesome. COVID beard. His COVID beard, yeah. Uh, so I am all set up in my hammock. And John has his tent set up, his usual setup. We've set up a shelter over there because we have a 50% chance of thunderstorms in the morning. So we want to be prepared. We are going to build a little fire pit, but we're going to destroy it afterwards. I just need it to cook on. More about that later. And the reason I'm talking quiet is quietly is because we've got some folks over here that are camping near us and I don't want to disturb them. So, uh, we're gonna gather up a little bit of wood and make a little fire pit and get our camp chores done so we can sit down and relax. It's been a long time coming, needed this trip for a very long time. And it's a beautiful day right now. I'll tell you what, you could not ask for a prettier day just beautiful out here today. Look at there. That's why I keep coming back out here. The Deem is just a beautiful place. If you can get away from people, it's just a fabulous place to be. Taking a little nap in the hammock. Such a beautiful day. I actually got my hammock right the first time. Thank you, Brian Carlson, for your advice last time. It worked wonders. All right, John's getting the fire lit. And basically we're having a fire tonight because I'm cooking over it. And what I'm cooking are these chicken thighs. I'm gonna make them barbecue and I'm gonna make them on a spit. I'm not gonna spit on them. I'm gonna make them on a spit. So John's doing the neighborly thing and he's getting me a, a good fire going since he's the best at it. And we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, all right, all right. All right, so we got chicken thighs on the spit. We are going to baste them with some famous days barbecue sauce. <laughs> and John, what'd you bring? What'd you got? Alpen Fair Veggie Burrito Bowl. Oh, that actually sounds good. All right, here we go. Now, I got this 
I got this baster. It's actually a pastry brush, but I cut the handle in half to be to make it harder. To make it harder, and so that the ultralight guys would be like, "Hell yeah!" They'd consider me one of their brothers. So we're just gonna just gonna put some loving on this chicken here. A little bit of loving. So I should mention that this spit I got from Firebox Stove. And the how I got this idea was from my buddy Russ. Because he brought one, on, I think, on our last trip. And he tried this. He tried jalapeno chicken, I think. And I was so enamored by it that I had to... Uh, had to get one, had to try it for myself. You learn things from your camping buddies. I learn more from my camping buddies than I do any backpacking video, except my own, of course. <clears throat> um, the previous statement I just made, actually, I learn a lot from backpacking with Jason because he makes good food. And I bet his chicken won't have ash all over it. Note to self, bring Leatherman. There. Is that in there? Yep, looks like it. All right, crisis averted. Yeah, son. What you know about campfire cooking? That you'll be done before I am. Oh, I know I will. <laughs> no doubt about that. Yeah, I know. The question is, will you be done before breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Looking pretty good. Hopefully it won't be too chewy. Okay, while that is finish, uh, finishing on the spit burning, uh, I'm going to make the side for tonight, and that is the four cheese Idahoan um, mashed potatoes. So we're just gonna eat like a king tonight, eat like the king. And I'm making my mashed potatoes with my stove I haven't used in a long time, my solo stove and my Trangia type uh, burner from solo stove as well. So we're going to boil up some water so we can get these mashed potatoes going. Looks like the uh, chicken is done. Hopefully it's done all the way through. Potatoes are done. So John was nice enough to let me use his Leatherman here, or Leatherman type. It's actually better than a Leatherman, I think. So we're going to try and pull these off. We're going to put them in the fire first a little bit. Okay, chicken is cooked all the way through. It is delicious. It tastes like something from Famous Dave's because, of course, it has their sauce on it. But I would say I would call this successful. Um, I like them this way, but, you know, if you didn't like them, um, if you didn't like them charbroiled like this, I mean, I could I could have done is just waited a little longer until the coals got uh, wider before I... Uh, started this process but I was hungry so so I'm going to finish my uh, dinner and I'm 
pretty excited about this spit. I get the spit is um, I got it from Firebox Stove. I think it's twenty nine ninety nine, and it is the, one of the best gear purchases of the year so far. All right, so we have a fifty percent chance of thunderstorms in the morning. So I have the Cuban fiber tarp. Hold on a second. I got my Cuban fiber tarp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie up the ends, the doors. And we got that tarp over there, you can't see. Kind of pointless to make this video. <laughs> Hey, good morning everyone. Sitting out here having my coffee, listening to the birds sing. No rain so far. It was a good night. Um, a little chilly, about three in the morning, but we made it work. I think we're gonna move uh, campsites today. The people next to us are leaving the actual Pine Grove uh, campsite and we're gonna move over there because we're right next to it. So, more later. exploration here. I tell you what, this area is just beautiful. I mean, look at this tree. Look at these roots, these exposed roots. That's very cool. And that is a sycamore tree. Two months of no plane sounds. And the moment I turn on my camera, plane sounds. Awesome. So this is across from our camp. Our camp is over there. Just gorgeous. Okay, John and I are walking over here. The guys that were over here have left at Pine Grove. So we're walking over here to do a test or to see if they left any trash. See if they left anything. I don't see any trash, but I do see a frying pan. Huh. Huh. Looks like it's been there a while though. Boy, look at that. That made a big noise when it Yeah. Um, there's some trash in the thing, not completely burned up, but. Good job, guys. So, we're also looking at this tree here that snapped in a precarious place, but look at the split in it. It looks like that split was there. Yeah, I wonder if it was struck by lightning. No burn marks on it. That's crazy. Yeah, because that's split to the core. And look, it didn't fall 
there's no distance between that and the tree or yeah. the, the base. So it it snapped and fell straight down. Because mm -hmm. you would think on the bounce, you would think it would bounce outward. Wow. You know what, though? You know what we could get off of this tree? <laughs> Some fatwood. Yep. yep. There's plenty of fatwood on this tree. Look at that one over there. There's, yeah, another. there's another one that went down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're hearing some thunder and it looks like it's going to pass over us hopefully. Um, earlier there was a tree that fell between, I'd say it's about what, 150 to 200 yards away? Yeah, at least it sounded that way. Yeah, so that's the second time that's happened to us. We've had a tree fall while we've been out. Um, and the wind is not even, you know, that bad right now. But we got a 50% chance of thunderstorms. But so far, we've been we've been doing all right. But we'll see if it passes over us. We are prepared, as you can tell. John brought the Taj Mahal of tarps, and we've got it all hooked up. But there is thunder in the distance, so we'll see. All right, we just had dinner. I had a ramen with sausages and cheese, ranch dressing, a little bit of ranch dressing mix, and um, some avocado in it. it was fantastic. <clears throat> Still hearing some thunder up top. Winds picked up a little bit, shifted position a couple of times. But we're not worried. We're positive thinkers. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to keep an eye on the sky, but we should be all right. And now the post supper. We're going to sit around and have a fire in a little bit if it doesn't rain. And we just saw a couple of ticks. One crawling on my shoe was a small one, and John saw one the size of his thumb crawling on his leg. So yeah, good times. <laughs>